How do? I know it's been a little while because there hasn't exactly been a lot of news going on recently. So this one will just be a quick brief overview of something that's just cropped up in the past couple of hours. Now, you are all being filmed on my old phone while I'm going to be reading things on my new phone. So, because I've got the page up here, by the way, I'll just put it there so that you can see it. Update about going and possible playing behind closed doors and training. There's a five stage plan. I'm not going to read it all out because it'll be too boring. There will be the link in the box below. By the way, I'm in a random mood right now. <laughs> to be honest, I was debating whether I could even be bothered to film before going for a walk or do I go for a walk and then film. But hey, since I've got two cell phones, I might as well film for you guys. And I can monitor it and I can make sure it snap uploads perfectly for y'all. Just so it's all working fine. So the five stages is going to be things like the clinical advisory group for the stages one and two. Stage three, which is going to be the BCD or behind closed doors and beyond. And then the then it goes on to like the laws, uh, laws committee, you know, things like that. Let's see if I can find out what it was. Right, so yeah, so stage uh, one and two is going to be the possibility of making sure that everyone can go into training and making sure it's all perfectly clean and dandy for everyone. The next one along, which is going to be the possibility of uh, behind closed doors. And then the next one along is cross-border competitions if possible. And then the final step, is the focus on playing in front of crowds. So for the rest of us who will be having to live stream it, watch it on the team's, you know, like team websites or watch it, you know, on Sky or BBC or wherever, hopefully things will work out that way where we can get it. There's still no solid data when it's going to return. Now, from what I've heard and from what I've read, Union is looking at a possibility from back in August. So there is that. Now also there is everyone complaining in certain parts of the country about the fact that football will be coming back at some point either June, July. So there is that as well. Plus with, to be honest, locally to a lot of people, shops are opening up, places are opening up. So there's going to be more chances of that. Um, this is, again, this is just going to be a short brief just because, to be honest, there isn't a lot of news and it's not really worth padding this out to spread it along when there isn't a lot going on. So eventually when I have worked out more stuff, there will be a more in-depth video somewhere along the line that I am going to try to record. I might even, uh, if the weather's nice at some point in the next week or so, try to see if I can film it on location. Just so it makes it easier rather than you just yeah, seeing the same background all the time. So there is that coming up. Now, as part of these advisories and things like that, they are making sure, though, that everyone is going to be tested constantly, making sure that uh, the people who are in contact with each other are not in contact with other people who may have had it, just in case there is that possibility there. There is going to be the deep clean of all premises as well, which if that hasn't happened already, or if it has happened already, it will be done again. And it will be constantly done. There will be, from one part that I have read, somewhere on another one, not this one, but on another report, there will be a once a week super deep clean and a once a day deep clean of all facilities where these guys are going to be training. Anywhere where they are going to be within proximity to each other, anywhere where there is sweat or they are breathing in the same air, they are obviously going to be needing to be cleaned out. So there's going to be extra filters on air conditioning and stuff like that a lot of that going on so you never know how this is going to work but a lot of it all breaks down to how quickly they can get it all to work whether they can get it feasibly where they can get from light training if players haven't been doing training from home where they can go from light training to close proximity training to then contact training now with rugby being such a contact sport and it's a car crash every tackle, for God's sakes. 
it's not is it like football where you can just run past each other and clip the ball from someone's toes. You actually physically have to wrestle them around with this one. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, with Union being, to be honest, closer to the end of its season, along with the football season, only being about six or seven games to the end as well, with the league season being six or seven games in, there is also that sharp possibility that it might just get canned, which some people may say would be for the better and just concentrate on next season. But with what's going on, on in Oz, where they're flying away with this, now, all right, yeah, they, they didn't have as big an issue with it. Also, Australia is a bigger country. They're a lot more spread out. So their numbers for infection rates and everything was already under control. Their death rate was quite small in comparison to ours. Now, because as a country, we are going to be obviously be more condensed. We're going to be more stuck together. So there's going to be that one. That Theirs is flying along. So we could get hours going even if it means that the 90% of what's left of the season does get played behind closed doors and the games do get squashed up together. Now that is something I'm going to go more in depth with in a later video is the possibility of like let's say kind of like if we was to bring back more of an old school league system or if we was to widen it all especially with the international expansion of what's going on with like the Canadian teams and the northern states of usa in there as well if we could find a way of blending them together and possibly having even a north american division and then a more european division and then a central british division if we could work it that way there is a possibilities on that that's just a small snippet for you guys also some people when i've asked in the comments before or on other pages people have said that maybe we was to change it from super league as it is now to how it used to be in the old premiership ideas bring it all around that way with those leagues and things like that and some of those cups that you used to get as well there is those in there that might come and go so there's all those possibilities to be honest i don't think anyone in the rfl big wigs is really gonna listen to a loudmouth sat here in a chair yelping about don't get fucked about this don't get fucked about that you know but you never know you never know. It has happened in the past with a few times with some people where some other people have listened in or have at least questioned why people believe and think this way. Because to some, things have gone stagnant in sometimes. Things don't quite work the same way. So you never know how it's really going to work and how it's going to go. But we will see. Now, as for this season and the future of this season... It's still all up in the air. This is just a little development which has just occurred on a news page that I so happened to fall across whilst I was scrolling through. Now, what's your thoughts on all of this and what do you think is going to happen with it? Smack it all down below. I'll leave it at that. So from me, it's peace out.